Let's get you to some more breaking news now. Just into us in the last couple of hours, the Supreme Court putting the bankruptcy reorganization of Purdue Pharma, the maker of OxyContin, on hold. That's after the Biden administration objected to a part of this deal that protected the Sackler family that controls the company from liability. Now, the family had agreed to pay $6 billion toward opioid-related lawsuits, but only as long as they were shielded from any future cases against the company. Now, we've talked about it on this show. OxyContin is the powerful painkiller that was marketed aggressively by Purdue, arguing it was not addictive. The opioid crisis that followed has killed tens of thousands a year over the last decade. NBC's Lawrence Hurley covers the Supreme Court and joins us now. So, Lawrence, uh, where does this case go from here, right? What, what are the implications, too, for the Sackler family? So, for right now, this, this decision by the Supreme Court, which is just a preliminary decision, uh, puts everything on hold, which means the deal won't go into effect. Uh, the bankruptcy is not settled. Uh, and the Supreme Court is going to hear arguments in December and then issue a ruling sometime next year, probably earlier next year uh, that will provide some certainty on what's going to happen. And so in the meantime, um, everything's sort of up in the air with this agreement. Uh, the company itself uh, has kind of criticized this case. Uh, the fact that the U.S. bankruptcy trustee who brought this appeal, uh, who's objecting to the settlement, uh, is actually holding up distribution of funds that would have gone to victims of the opioid epidemic as the company seeks to kind of reorganize itself. So um, that is now not going to happen in the meantime. But of course, once the Supreme Court ruling happens, then we'll see how this plays out. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.